Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another inks comparison video, and this is Red Inks comparison number four. So I think with that, let's go and swab up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the descriptions, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomare River. This is 52 GSM and it is the white, not the cream, the white. Where possible, I try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit. So this is Tomoe River 52 GSM in the white. Um, a lot of people get confused as well because I have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an Oxford Optic pad these are the pads that i actually use when i'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink so they have these little squares up here uh, i just use that because it's a good guide for me when i put this very thin sheet of tomoe river over i can actually see squares so it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page not always but sometimes it does the, the other thing that I also have is a I have a bottle of water, plain water, and uh, I dip my nib in here. So for consistency, I use the same fountain pen, or <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3d and it has a number eight size bock nib which i can unscrew and you can see there so it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size bock nib and the idea is i want to have consistency with the writing sample so i use this i dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it and then at that point uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it, that's uh, how I do my ink swatches. So I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink here we'll swab up today is Diamine Vermilion. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see this is a very, very nice red color. It's on the pale side, but it is still quite nice. Uh, I do prefer maybe a little bit more of a brighter, darker red. We'll do a second pass over the top. And this is just to show the difference between what would be a uh, wet or a broad nib versus a dry or a narrow writing nib. So this is Diamine and it is Vermilion. But this is quite a nice red colored ink. The next ink here is a Monteverde, and this is a Sweet Life Collection ink, and it's Strawberry Shortcake. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I have to say, this has become one of my favorite strawberry colored inks. Uh, you'll also know, and you'll see very soon, another strawberry colored ink that I like a lot. We'll do a second pass over the top half, and that just shows the difference between a wet or a broad and a dry or a narrow writing nib. So this is Monteverde. And it is Strawberry. And it's Shortcake. But that is a very beautiful strawberry ink.
the next ink here is Diamine Wild Strawberry. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this is my favorite go to strawberry colored ink. And this was the first ink that I had of a strawberry color. We'll do a second pass over the top half here just to show the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. And this is Diamine. And it is Wild Strawberry. But that is the favorite strawberry ink, although I have to say the Monteverde Strawberry Shortcake I am liking a lot more lately. The next ink here is Diamine Passion Red. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is quite a bright passion color red. And I have to say again, like this, it's a little bit on the faded side. We'll do a second pass over the top half here. Show the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. Also to try and see if I can get some shading going on. But this is quite a nice colored ink. So this is Diamine. And it's Passion Red. Let's try and get that on camera a little bit better there. The next ink here is Twisby Red. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, I have to say that this isn't a red that I've actually written a lot with. And I bought this bottle because I wanted another red ink. And I really haven't written with it. And I do need to write with this. We'll do a second pass over the top half here. Try and get some more shading and show the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. So this is Twisby Red. But... I think that's actually quite a nice red ink. And I have to say, I do like these frosted colored bottles. And then the last ink here is a KWZ ink. And this is a UK pen show exclusive or more so a London pen show. You can just see up here at the top right, it says UK pen shows and it's Beef Eater Red. And if you don't know, the, La the Tower of London uh, is always guarded by these guys who are called beef eaters. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, as you can see here, this is a much darker, almost crimsony color red, but it's a red that has grown on me very recently. And I have to say, I really do like it. I'm typically not one for uh, darker reds, but I do like this one. So we'll do a second pass over the top half here show a bit of shading hopefully and a difference between a wet and a dry writing nib and this is kwz it's beef eater red but that is a very very nice red ink and i have to say now i do have four bottles of this ink uh a pen friend of mine uh, who did go to the London Pen Show, actually picked up a bottle of this, didn't like it, and threw the entire bottle away. And I have to say, I was a little bit sort of dismayed by that because I honestly would have taken the bottle off of them because I really do like that colour ink. So I think let's take a look at these inks in a little bit more detail now that they have dried. So the first ink here is Diamine Vermilion. And I have to wonder sometimes is this an orange ink is it a red ink i think i would say it's probably more of a red ink uh maybe a pinkish red you can see a huge difference here between what would be a wet and a dry writing nib you can see that the writing sample is in a wet writing nib now there isn't a huge amount of shading there is around the pulled area sort of the edges there uh, and I'll show you in a little bit more detail there. The writing sample is quite nice, uh, but there isn't any sheen going on there on that ink swatch or writing sample. 
The next thing is Monteverde and its strawberry shortcake. Now you can see a huge difference again between the wet and a dry writing nib. I'd say that this is pretty much more of a strawberry colored ink for sure. Uh, a little bit more of a paler strawberry, I would say. Uh, there is a huge amount of shading going on there. And if I show you close up, you can see there. Now, I want to say that there is a little bit of sheen here. It's really hard to see. It's a little bit brighter. And I want to say that that is starting to sheen. Uh, it's not a huge amount, but uh, it is something that you will possibly notice there. The next thing is a darker strawberry, and this is Diamine Wild Strawberry. And again, you can see a difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. Again, there's quite a lot of shading going on there in that pooled area. And if I show you up close there, you can see the writing sample as well as that ink swatch. Uh, there is a slight amount of sheen around the pooled edges, but not a huge amount. Uh, I have had Diamine Wild Strawberry sheen before. Typically, it's been when I've left it in a pen for two, three, four weeks, and a little bit of water has evaporated from the ink, and that has allowed the ink to sheen a little bit more. The next ink here is Diamine Passion Red, and this is, uh, it goes on quite bright when it's wet, but it then actually comes out more of a pastel red and almost a powdery pastel red. Uh, there isn't a huge difference between the wet versus the dry pass here on the ink swatch. There is some shading around the pulled areas, but not a huge amount of shading. You certainly don't see it on the writing sample there. I'll show you up close there so that you can see it. There isn't any sheen there either, so uh, it's a little bit of a muted red, I would say. The next thing is Twisby Red. And again, it's another muted red. I'd say it's a little bit, maybe one shade lighter or half a shade lighter than Diamine Passion Red. So you can see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib a little bit more than Diamine Passion Red. There is some shading going on here around the pulled areas and edges. And again, I want to say that the brighter area here and around here, that it's trying to sheen. It's not quite doing so, but it's, it's kind of trying to sheen there, maybe around here as well. Uh, but it's not a heavy sheening ink. So you're not going to see a lot of sheen there. Maybe if you did leave a converter in a pen inked up maybe for a month, you might see a little bit more possibly. And then the last thing here is KWZ Beef Eater Red. This has become a favorite of mine. I don't normally like dark red or crimson red inks. This is a very nice ink. I think I like it because it's a UK Pen Show exclusive ink. Uh, it's a Beef Eater ink, Beef Eaters, live in the Tower of London, and I think that just has a bit of a remnants with me. But I have to say, I do like the writing sample here, and I have been using this ink a lot. I have got four bottles now. I have already gone through about half a bottle of this because I have been inking it up in a lot of pens. Now, you can see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib here. Uh, there is shading going on in the pooled area more. Now, I want to show this up close because there is sheen on this. Around the edges of this pooled area, there is sheen. So if any of these inks are sheening, it's certainly this one. It's not a huge amount, but it is there. You can see it more than any of these other red inks. Uh, you don't really see it in the writing sample, but it definitely does have some sheen properties. So there you have it. That's my red inks comparison number four video. If there are any of these inks that you like, let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any similar reds that you 
have and you like, or if you would like to see other reds compared, then do let me know in the comments below. So that's my red inks comparison number four video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.